Can you believe that it's been nearly a decade since Moana first sailed into theaters? The 2016 animated film directed by legends John Musker and Ron Clements became a cultural phenomenon, winning the hearts of millions across the world with its stunning animation, memorable songs, and amazing storytelling. But Moana just wasn't another hit movie. It was the start of an expansive brand that turned its characters and themes into a massive merchandising and marketing juggernaut for the Walt Disney Company. Fast forward to today, where we're going to see a Moana 2 hit theaters on Thanksgiving of this year. They're also now getting images from the live-action Moana that's being filmed right now and set to release in 2026. It had humble beginnings and is now a marketing and merchandising juggernaut for this Disney organization. Let's take a deep dive and swim along as we look at the history of Moana. After directing The Princess and the Frog, directors John Musker and Ron Clements were ready to embark on a new project. They initially began working on an adaptation of Mort, a fantasy novel written by Terry Pratchett, but issues with securing the necessary film rights stalled the project. Not wanting to face the same setback again, they decided to pitch three original ideas to Disney. One of these ideas would eventually evolve into the hit movie Moana. In 2011, while searching for inspiration for their next big project, Musker stumbled upon Polynesian mythology and culture. He wanted to focus his story around Maui and the art of ocean navigation. Musker saw an opportunity to tell a unique story that celebrated Polynesian culture while still creating that unique Disney storytelling aspects. He saw this as a unique concept that had not been explored before, and it was largely unknown by global audiences. This meant untapped potential. The idea of using Polynesian mythology as a foundation for the film was groundbreaking. Now, mythology has been a focus of many cartoons and many movies in the past. However, none really specified the concepts of Polynesian mythology and really focused on a unique character that would be intertwined with that. Moana would be unique in that it delved deeper into that specific culture of the Pacific Islands, rather than borrowing a broader, more generalized mythology. The film also had an opportunity to highlight the art of wayfinding, a concept that was utilized by the Polynesians of past. It was the ability to navigate the vast ocean utilizing the stars. It was something very unique to that culture. Inspired by this, Musker and Clements wrote a treatment for the film and pitched the idea to Disney's chief creative officer, John Lasseter. Recognizing the potential, Lasseter encouraged them to travel to the South Pacific to conduct research. Here, they would have the opportunity to pick the brains of the individuals who lived in that culture, and it would allow them to shape a unique film. During their research trips, the duo would dive deeper into the history. This was once a vast, unique aspect of the Polynesian culture. They would utilize this navigating across the vast regions of the Pacific Ocean, moving from island to island and settling. They had great success utilizing this concept in navigating the oceans. However, it abruptly ceased, and the directors wanted to know why. They wanted to create a rich history around this story. Many scholars still debate why this ended, and the two directors working on this film wanted to create a unique story around this ancient tradition. Initially, Musker and Clemens envisioned Moana as a film centered around Maui, focusing on his legendary feats and the discovery of the Pacific. However, the research led them to rethink the direction. The directors realized that Maui was a central figure in Polynesian mythology, but the heart of the culture would be the people. They decided to make it around a young Polynesian girl, a wayfinder in her own right. Struggling to restore the ancient art of navigation, she would go on a journey to realize what she used to be. Thus, the character of Moana would be born. The filmmakers also recognized that they had a responsibility to tell a story with authenticity and respect to the Polynesian culture. To ensure the film was culturally accurate and sensitive, 
they formed the Oceanic Story Trust, a group of advisors that would work directly with the Disney team to ensure that the Polynesian story would be told correctly. They would go over everything from traditions to gods to customs and respect. The trust even provided valuable input on the design of characters and some of the scenes of the locations. For example, one early draft of Maui depicted him as bald, which was considered very disrespectful by members of the Oceanic Story Trust. They advised filmmakers that he should have long hair as it was an important feature of a demigod's appearance in Polynesian culture. Thus, the character of Maui would be reworked. The filmmakers worked tirelessly to integrate these insights into the film and create a unique story around Polynesian culture. While the character of Moana and the cultural backbone of the film were coming together, the story itself went through multiple revisions. Originally, the film was going to be focused on Moana's relationship with her brothers, a dynamic that would play into various themes of gender and family within the household. However, as the story developed, Moana's journey would be adjusted. The focus would become on her rather than a subplot based on her gender role within the family. This led to the eventual decision to scrap the entire subplot of her having brothers. As the film's storyline continued to develop and evolve, the filmmakers played with different iterations, including one where her father was the one who wanted to avoid going into the ocean as he had fears of the sea. This would have created a dynamic between Moana and her dad as her father would be the one who would be in charge and the chief and would be telling her no. Instead, the concept would continue to develop and create a more unique aspect around the entire tribe of individuals not wanting to leave the island and focusing on living life on the island. The narrative became clearer and clearer and that there would have to be a relationship between Maui and Moana and as they became more refined, the characters became to take shape and create a unique aspect of the film. Once the script was finalized, the animation process for Moana began. Disney's animation team, led by the directors, would work to create a visually stunning film. It took a team of over 90 animators to work together to create this unique, engaging, visually stunning masterpiece. One challenge that they had throughout the film was the animation of the water. It was one of the main aspects of the movie as the Polynesian culture was an island-based culture that would move from island to island across the sea. However, animators found it challenging to create this as the backdrop and it would take much work and change throughout to create the subtle ways that the ocean would move. The movie would also have an incredible score from Lin-Manuel Miranda who worked tirelessly to create a unique aspect that would be captivating for audiences across the world. All of this came together in November of 2016 when Moana, a strong female Polynesian character, would hit theaters on Thanksgiving. The film would gross over $650 million worldwide and won several awards for its animation and also music. Beyond just being a box office success, it had commercial appeal as the characters were very unique and different from characters that were seen before. It would become a merchandising and marketing juggernaut for the organization, and people began to ask for more. They wanted rides, attractions, shows, and of course, sequels and live action movies. This brings us to today where we now have a Moana attraction at Epcot, with many people begging for a Moana volcano-style roller coaster to come to the theme parks and Adventureland as well. We also have character meet and greets throughout the Disney parks across the world. It's also been apparent that Moana's not going away, with the sequel coming out this year on Thanksgiving Day, and a live-action version coming in 2026. Moana is a juggernaut, there's no doubt. Thanks so much for watching. Believable Truths.